Telling jokes and having smokes Riding bikes all through the night It's a wild ride When you're being in Coffee ice no matter what Now you know he likes it in the butt Hey, uh, Ian here. Just want to let you know. He means giving it, not getting it. Okay, thanks. Back to the song. It's a wild ride when you're being Ian, being Ian. And life is shit, but you're positive. Let's find out what it's like to live a life. Being Ian, being Ian. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Ian here. I'm coming to you from the Delaware Den. This is going out to all the doozies out there. I'm on the road. That's right, come out and see me. October 2nd, I'm headlining Instead of Live, Phoenix, Arizona. October 5th, San Jose Improv. October 6th, Brea Improv. And October 7th, Hollywood Improv. It's gonna be a blast. Ianfinance.com, linktree.com slash Ianfinance for tickets. While I'm out there, I'm going to be listening to the new, whoopsies, Cat Bite with Mike Park Split, Wave Breaker. I'm going to listen to it the whole time on Bad Time Records. Check it out. But more importantly, check me out. And you know what? Smoke them if you got them. Come on out. Have a smoke. And hear a joke. All right. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Bye-bye. Shabbat -bye. Shabbat. May I? Please. I'd be honest. Imagine... Joey puts it. In, Joey puts it in his hole. Puts it in his hole and just blasts a fart out. <laughs> now she will. Qu Sandra, will you put that in your in your uh, JJ, please, dear? Sandra, would you mind queefing in that, please? Like that. Um, she did on the car right here. Would she you would like to stop. try? I'd be Go honored. to pause. You have to purse your lips together like a trumpet. Oh, no, I'm no, lightheaded. No, no. How would you learn this? Oh, many years. Hold on. Ready? Many years in the industry. <laughs> That's her mating call. Yeah, yeah, and a bunch of Hasidic Jews show up, and oh, uh, the, maid, yeah. the maid comes down. Yeah. Yeah. Just to fight that. Yeah, this is a, a Jewish shofar. It's a, it's a goat horn. Do you know how there's the Jewish men around this neighborhood like to flash lesbians? What? I have a bunch of lesbian friends down in Brooklyn here. Down, is it called down in Brooklyn? Uh -huh. And <laughs> apparently, the Hasidic Jew, the Jewish men love to flash them. Flash them what? How do they they're know cops. that they're lesbians? Uh, because they look like dyke, bull dykes. Really? Yeah. It's mostly the dykey ones. I think it's their kind of fuck you. They're going to show their dick to a woman, but it's not really a woman. Well, it's a very sexual culture. It is the, a woman, but it's Hasids. like, you know. The Hasids are, are known for you can, their you, sex Now, you're appeal. Hasid passing. <laughs> Excuse you? You could pass. You're passable. You're passable. I you're passable queen. Yeah. wanted to do a show <laughs> where I infiltrate... The Hasidim, okay, and then start like a Jewish mafia among them. Yeah, and the, then the, the entertainment industry. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they, they, are, they already <laughs> have that here. They are baking. They are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I create a device that controls the weather, which is <laughs> this thing right here. Oh, <laughs> it's about to rain. <laughs> Now, now my foot is acting up. That's what, he, when a storm is coming, I can feel it in my my hip and in my toe. Yeah. Really, I can feel that in my knee. Yeah. How, How did you old? hurt your foot? I, know. I don't know. I was sleeping. Um, I'm taking a bunch of new medications, so I'm probably something that, a mixture prescribed between or for fun. A little of both. How much mm. time do you have? <laughs> yeah, oh, I can go through my full script. But maybe it's an interaction with some of my my new medications or injections. What um, do you want, Pat? And I will be doctors. Well, yeah. I have. Um, well, Let's Pat injected me yesterday <laughs> yeah. with um, testosterone. This is the thing. I get. Oh, sorry, oh, God. I oh. give him two injectables a week. I give him two injectables a week. She injects. You're me. on T. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I went to the doctor and I li I'm legally am. You a look woman. like one of the lesbians at the Hasid's flash. <laughs> <laughs> he goes out Thank with you. a wig. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was um, Leah Diali. What's her name? That Lena Dunham. No, 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 no. A wig and a Home close. Depot receipt. <laughs> Leah. Hey, back pocket. <laughs> she was in Orange is New Black, the real dykey one. Yes. Oh, Leah yes. Yeah, she's a comedian. Wait, yes, with the glasses. Yeah, I get confused for her the all the time. The black lady? Yes. No, yes. she's white. No. The well, black you, can't, you can't assume the race. It's what? not allowed. I we can't that. assume race no. now? No. We can assume. We'll get canceled. No, you can't assume gender. You can assume race. No, wait. Well, you could never assume race, right? Well, we don't. Okay, we got a game called you Guess, the, what, race. guess the Race. Jordy, pop it up. <laughs> Polynesian. 
<laughs> this is you great. You have a, the TV here, and then as we talk, you bring things up. Yes. Ma- Marty, take notes. Hello. How great would it yes. be to have this? We well, have a TV. There. Yeah, but we don't use it. The only time we use it is when we have a guest, and it's like, guess the asshole of the vagina. Yeah, or whatever yeah between you. Joey and Pat, out and about. Yes. Barstool Sports. Correct. What do you think of the studio? I'm turned on. It's, I like it. A lot. It's, it's perfect. decorated. It will read. Some it will read well on camera. Is this liquid death? Sponsor? Yeah, kind of. They I don't know it death. yet, but yeah. Uh, uh, I I'll love it. One. It's very seventies, like chill, like stoner vibe, but not really. You have the music oh. all over the walls. A lot of Asian paraphernalia. Yeah, you're a guy that doesn't make sense on paper, Ian. <laughs> which yeah. I can, which I can respect because I'm the same way. I'm like a faggot who loves Beyonce, but will also do boxing. Oh, like, nothing makes sense. I, I feel love like that. You're the same. Yeah, uh, I get told Ooh. that I don't. You like that? Is, is that really, the mango flavor? Yeah. This is really good. No, no this is straight up sparkling. sparkling. Oh, regular sparkling. Yeah. yeah, they hold different flavors. Liquid death. Yeah. I get told that I can't be fit in a box because I have too no. big of a cock. <laughs> That's true. Oh. That's true. Ah, I've seen cheers. his cock before. It's it's heavy. Yes. I was telling um, what's your name? I was telling Jesse Kirsten how big your cock was. Yes, you, would, you, you guys made a clip out. of that and put it out. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate Thank you. That. That but you can t- if you didn't know who, if you didn't know Ian, you can come down here and get a really good idea of yeah. the, what you're about to get into when meeting Ian here. Mm-hmm. I think it kind of sums everything up for you. You have great comedians of of yesteryear. Yes, comedians. Um, Comedians. comedians. You have some yes. sports paraphernalia. You have, I mean, there's not enough. I, I don't really see, except for the Elvis. Like, what the would you add? Elvis, I would add something a little faggoty in here. Well, I feel like you got the Golden Girls. That's one. But is there poppers? Is there, is there anything? You know of, what's so anal, funny? Anal. I was going to go and get poppers for you guys today. Yeah. There's a place up the street that sells them. I need them. I'm using some old ones that smell like honey from a gift bag right now. <laughs> Fuck. That's why your nose cleared up. Yeah. Because you haven't yeah. used them. Well, I also, I also haven't had to use poppers because I've been getting laid. Really? Brag about yes. it. Talk With about it. Who? Talk about it. A share hot, about it. A hot young 23 year old. Get something. ready for a show far share. Yeah. <laughs> Shelly says he can't talk. About, he's like, every time he's like, we can't talk about it. We can't, we can't talk, talk about it. The second he's on any Dude, microphone, the I, first thing he does. That's my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. chirping like a hummingbird. No, I, I, I really want to respect his, his privacy. Here's a picture of his abs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we can smoke down here too. You oh, good, good, good. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait a second until my coffee goes through me. Do you have, how many toilets do you have here? One there, one upstairs. Okay, good. And two litter boxes. Two litter boxes. So yep. four. Good. Yeah. Um, Sandra noticed. I saw her squat in one earlier. Yeah. She squeezed the blood clot out to the one closest. <laughs> what is happening? It sounded like she this. had a blood clot? Yeah. No. Upstairs. It's in the box. You know, some, a woman at work uh, left a blood clot on the fart, floor. Started a blood clot out onto the floor of the ladies' room. And then no. Lady she left it there. It. No. Yeah. yeah. And I went into. For ju- posterity? And he was what? the one who found out somehow. I he found out. Went, he goes, you would not believe what's on the ladies' room floor. <laughs> And like all the girls come and over. And yeah, came out. I said, yep. It's in there. Go ahead. And then by the time I we got all got in there, the cleaning lady was in there taking care of it. Uh, but How I think did was, you I think know? Was, I could smell it. <laughs> you um, a bear? Yeah. So. Yeah. All the menstruation. Now, the winds will shift. Yeah. And I, I was, I noticed. So I heard from word of mouth. Someone told me. So I went in to go see it. And then I started spreading the word around the office. By the time I gathered Start all the, gr- gathered the, the girls to go around the office to investigate. And I think it was a, um. Like a terror threat. Not a terror threat, but it was like, you know, marking their territory. So I'm assuming it was someone newer in the office. It was probably you. Someone newer in the office trying to, like, mark the territory Mm -hmm. and let them know that I'm dominant. This is Mm my, you know, I'm out for blood. So we later found it. We found out who it was eventually. Really? Let him know. <laughs> Let him know. <laughs> Let him know. Did, now, did she know she popped a, a clot? Yes. Well, you she stopped getting her period for a while because of the eating disorder. Yeah. But now that it's... <laughs> <laughs> Is that too serious? Is that a B&E and an exclusive? Yeah, that's a B&E and exclusive. We can cut that, right? Yeah. Great. No. This is uh, live. We're live. We're live. Um, but yeah, so, Anywho, that, so they hit, the blood clot hit the ground and, you know, things changed in the office, but... You've been a, you've been now at Barstool for since when? February, full, full time February, and he came in. This is Black and, History Month, and worked really some, well. He he requested I always, that he got I signed always on Black start during Black History Month. <laughs> he actually requested it, believe it or not, and then he came on to do out and about uh, in like October, and then it's just more and more and more, and it's been a dream ever since. How long have you guys been friends? Since October, yeah, so, so <laughs> we, hit the ground, we really hit the ground running. You really he came, did. He came on the show, and then like five minutes in, I was like. 
oh yeah, I'm getting you a job here. This yeah. Has to, this has to happen. I go, stick it out. Now there were ups and downs. Yeah. There were yeah. many ups and downs. He oh, caught I feelings. Really imagine. He caught feelings. And really? I was like, I'm not, it's, yeah. just, it's just a professional environment. Yeah, but there's right. a will they, won't they I don't blame thing. them, but it's like, right. you know. <laughs> right. Get yeah. your things together. But then he came messy and he was like, you know, crying and like trying to right. was, like, infiltrate my relationship with my boyfriend. I was like, oh. An emotional clot. It was fucked up. But I'm glad he got over it. So you guys have only been for. I thought that you guys were like sisters since the beginning. We're sister. We're kindred spirits. Yeah, yeah. kindred spirits. Yeah, it is funny. I just like, got Trish. his sense of humor immediately. Oh yeah, I think he got. Well, I don't know if he got mine. But well, I think there's not enough. There's not enough in the industry that are as you know as as, uh, as Lucy you know, Goosey. As, we not let Lucy it Goosey fly. as like um, yes. taboo as us. You know, we Which, like we like you know radical. We like Islam radicalism. We like that used to be that used yeah. to be a ISIS flag. Yes. Oh, and that, it was. Yes. Actually, it's great. Yeah. No, it used we to support. be. Oh, it used to be. He yeah, had to take it be. down. Yeah, I had to. Well. But we let it. We, we love the Taliban. We, we love. We love. You know, evangelical. Well, I think around. January six. I I come on January six. I'm I'm pushing for a national holiday. Yeah, I have a petition. But Would you like to sign? I'd be honored. I'd, yeah. yeah, please, Jordy. Oh. Um, Sandra's not a citizen, so she can't sign. Sandra, what are you? Gender first here. <laughs> Color she, hair, she's a skin, bad bitch. gender, bad bitch. tell us. She's that bitch. She's You're that, that bitch. bitch. That's her pronoun. Yes. <laughs> that and bitch. <laughs> uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from New York. Oh. Rochelle, I thought you were going to say Tel Aviv. No. She's not from Tel Aviv. She is actually a Kosovoian um, refugee. Really? Yes. yes. Yeah. I'm Very honored. True. Yeah. That's incredible. And here she is. I think you guys are way you gotta more. You got to see her in a bikini. She's hot. Really? Oh, my God. Can you Stunning. change? Please. <laughs> come on. Why? Hey, honey, shake it around. <laughs> on the cameras. What do you want here? Hey, come on in here, honey. Come to the Delaware Den for a yeah. second. What would you do if you got invited over on a date and um, this he brought you down here? Would you be nervous? I think you could hang, though. <laughs> Before you met us, would you be less nervous, or more nervous, or what less nervous? What if you came down here and I was playing ska? <laughs> Come and sit down. You love, you, I forgot, you love ska. Yeah. What is it, ska? Ska. Ska music. Ska. Now, here's the thing. What if you water. came over for a date and I said, Come to my den, we're going to hang out, choose a record, and maybe you would like to play um, Corn? Maybe corn record. Yeah, I got a corn record. I got multiples. Do you have Power Man Five Thousand as well? That's on the wish list. Okay, that's on the wish list. And then <laughs> you know, I said we that's can play niche. WWE Two K, and I am a downloadable character. Would that would that make you just slip off these these? I don't think she didn't know what we just said. No, <laughs> it's just speaking. Believe it or not, <laughs> she's a mute. Actually, no. well, he had her tongue removed so she can pronounce. Her, uh, her, her country's dialect correctly. <laughs> well, that was right after we... <laughs> <laughs> yes. right after we had what you, else did well, she take away from well, her? <laughs> the ability to have pleasure. Oh, that's just <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, so did you show her a Christmas card? A oh, holiday card? See? Oh, please. Yeah. I would love it. I, I just want to say, first of all, I did your guys' show. Had yeah. a fucking blast. Uh, got so much good feedback. People were really loving it. And I think you guys are way more relatable than any other like kind of like queer thing going on because oh, so yeah. many people feel the way and talk like this in their friend circle. Yeah. And they I don't think no one says it out loud. Yeah. Because they know, have to be woke for the internet. Yeah, you know exactly. You have to be woke for the internet and gay people gay hate everyone just as much as you do. No, gay entertainers, queer entertainers yeah. have it in their head that everything you do has to be educational. Yeah. For some re- it's like the movie Fire Island. Why oh. are you like teaching me a fucking lesson, Dude. Like about what, like gay? Sh- show people fucking. Show people doing drugs. Show what it's really like to be gay on Fire Island, and that's like we talk how we would on camera, how we do yes. on camera. Yes, which I think that. more people should, should yeah. and enjoy. And I blame the whole education through comedy thing on the Daily Show oh. because that was John ever- Stewart. John Stewart, because that was everyone's introduction to like. Um, politics in like a funny way yeah and then it got to a point where it was like no no no. we're 
educating people, but then like he'd always cop out and be like, "We follow a cartoon show, you know. We're he, just he could clown. fall back on the joke. <laughs> yes, or yes, like, yes. But I feel like he did it well, like more so. Like you That's got the, the spinoffs, thing. the fucking Samantha Bees, bro. And like these he people did who didn't it, do it well. He, he did is it the perfectly. gold standard. Right. He is the way it should be. But it inspired a generation of comics to go, "Oh, I think I should do that," and they right. suck. They stink. And they, and they don't have a writer's room full yeah, of yeah, 12 yeah. highly educated, yeah. or, you know, highly experienced and people and researchers. John and Stewart, and who's an incredible comic and host. And yeah, they don't have researchers and everything. And then they think their 10 minutes on, 10 minutes on stage is to like educate. Fuck and then that, that infiltrates entertainment. No, our, Just, our live show, I, I injected him with tea, and he mooned the crowd on his asshole. My no, whole asshole was Are you serious? Getting, I thought it was front row, and I, I, I was yeah. like, you know, I'm not going to pull my just butt cheek out. I'm just going to go full Monty, so I pull everything down, but I forgot that I had skinny jeans on, so I had to pull them all the way down. I had to, you know, they got stuck in my, my calves. I had to put them, I'm bending them down, and I don't realize that my whole gaping asshole and balls are right in the in audience's faces. People. You fruit cup 500 people? Yeah, including my father fruit. in the front row. <laughs> That's what it's called. Like in front of my, in, right, right in front of my father in the front row. So I was like... Yeah, that's what we do there, and we you know. Yeah, you're not getting you're not getting education, but you will get laughs. Yeah, yeah. And Make sure you're not sitting in the splash zone this time. Yeah, we're, so wow. we have a live show coming up at Laugh Boston on October fourth. Yes. Link, link in bio, all of our stuff. Me and Joey, yes. Joey Camasta, Barstool Pat, Laugh Boston, and, great club. We never it good? been. Is it Dude, good? I did it back in August. Amazing. Uh, Sold so well on a Thursday. Whereas ours is on Tuesday on Yom Kippur, bro. <laughs> Oh my. Thank God there's no you want Jews the horn? in Boston. Yeah. Bring the horn. <laughs> okay. It's yours. Okay. Enjoy it. We got to learn how to play it right. I know. Well, there is a YouTube tutorial. <laughs> what's, the na- what's the actual name of it? It's a shofar. It's shofar. a goat's horn. Mm. Yeah. A goat. That's a goat's a- antler. Yeah. <laughs> it's a goat's antler. Would you ever fuck a goat? Again? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, yeah. goats here's, have our, here's our Christmas these. card. Let me see this. Oh, yeah, this is something new. But this, I would oh, dude, how, you guys are going to crush card. Lap Boston. I'm excited. That's going to be so fun. Dude, it's like the stage is huge. Oh, that's I can't awesome. Stand, I have gout. I can't stand up. <laughs> Shut that's the our Christmas fuck card. up. And you guys say holiday card. Holiday dude, card. that is amazing. Do you think we're going to get canceled? Are you? No. Okay. You're going to be celebrating. So can see our faces. And so I'm going to share it. Put it on the green screen. Yes. <laughs> green screen it. Can we yes. have it up? Yeah. yeah. Have it up. And I'll say this. Might I make a suggestion? Yes. Yeah. Merry Christmas, classic Christmas font, and underneath in like Farsi. Yes. <laughs> underneath in Creole. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll speak pigeon. Yes. If I'm South of Mason Dixon, I'll go into Creole. Yes. <laughs> Now you gonna wish them a Merry Christmas now, y'all. That's a, you, you gotta have something like, by you. You could do a great Christmas card down here, like oh, in, in God, a, yeah. in the tidy whities like stains on yes. them, and a Santa hat and a beard, high with socks, like, seventy socks. Yeah, and just like just like fucking fill like f- f- shit stains are on your underwear. Shit. Oh. What? Not Splat? shit stains, but oh. like pee stains. Wait, like, what, where's this coming from? He will get kinky. No, no. I'm just reading the, reading the environment here and getting excited. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. He, he get, now, get, now, I'll lay under what? the coffee table made of glass, and you'll <laughs> drop some heat right on yes, my face. Yes, yes. Oh, dude, we, we could do a lunch. glass shit Christmas holiday card. In high school... I made Christmas cards of me doing the mangina, pubes out, and it said, yes. have a hairy Christmas. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, I, did I just mangina posted my mangina today. on OnlyFans. You did. Really? You have an OnlyFans? Yeah. Plug it. It's Same a girl. Joey underscore Kamasa on OnlyFans. It's, it's juicy. What do you do on there? I just do fun content, goofy. I, like, I'm not obviously that. a very sexual person, so like I, I, but I do like to be, like, sexualized. So I'll do, like, you know, I'll, I'll show everything, but I, like, do it in a funny way. Like, I'll wear, like, women's lingerie with, like, a nut hanging out. Uh-huh. Or, you know, like... The mangina, or me in a, in a swimsuit, or me you know you know, like about going you? down on my uncle. It's just like different <laughs> things that we have. The first that thing you can post, he goes, I'm going to start off slow. We go, Great idea, Joe. We go, What's the first thing you're going to post? He goes, How about this? And it's then coming, on my own face. coming on his own face. <laughs> oh, no. And then we go, And then I we go, you that. Let me see it. And then we go, Don't post it up. He goes, Oh, it's up. <laughs> the first thing he did was <laughs> post himself jizzing on his own face. But now it's behind a paywall, so you have to pay to get it. Yeah, yeah like you have to pay bucks. to get it or come to the live show where you show hole. Yeah. Yeah. Shut the fuck I thought I showed you this. Up. It's a gif of you coming on your forehead. On the green screen. It tr- can you green screen this? It truly looks like you are getting gay Ash Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it goes down and drips and it no, drips this is my own on Christening. the forehead. This is my own christening. This is this yeah. what they say. Yeah. Give it a little fucking yeah. thing. Right there. Yeah. That's incredible. And you posted that. Do you have 
people on there? I only have a hundred followers now. Only that's. Yeah. But it's only ten. So it's only a thousand dollars a month. But then they take half of it, so it's like I'm making five hundred dollars a month. Uh. This is just enough to like fuel my. Um, that's just enough for one uh, one late night seamless. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's just enough for a, for a, for a king's platter at three a.m. from from Auntie Jo. <laughs> How do you get peckish at night? He gets peckish around 3 a.m. He will get It peckish. is so yeah. funny to me how people make it OnlyFans. And in order to, like, succeed on it, you have to, like, post it on your Constantly. social networks. And yeah, then yeah. everyone in your life sees it. Oh, yeah. I don't care. At, well, yeah, no. But a, a lot of, some people don't care. Sweet. And then when they don't make money off of it, they have to then get, like, Re-promote a real it. job. And, yeah. But then it's like you've already shown your naked body to everyone in your life. Yeah. The girls post heavy when it's renew time because you can see who auto renews and who doesn't. So when it's time, like the time of the month is coming up, uh-huh. shout out. <laughs> they, that was about period. Plot time. <laughs> they, um, they'll like post some extra slutty stuff to get people on there. Yeah, I can really up the ante this month. Well, I <laughs> really... up it more. That's why we came here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, do it. Let's have a live OnlyFans show right here. And while you do that, I'll read Native American poetry from my oh, <laughs> little American book. prayer book. Now, you're from the, the uh, Slapaho tribe, correct? Uh, <laughs> 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 they call me Chief Powerbottom. Uh, whatever. Oh, whenever the white man treats the Indian as they treat each other, then we will have no more wars. We shall all be alike, brothers of one father and one mother, yeah. with one sky above us and one country around us and one government for all. And that was from the Nez Pierce oh, Chief. This is daughter feather, dear. <laughs> now, yeah, she's able fair. to read this so she doesn't get taxed on her um, on her income here. Because yeah. so, <laughs> yeah, she's, yeah, she's, yeah, she's yeah. in the Holy Land. She's in the Holy Well, can I tell you... I donate to a Native American fund, and there's a school in North Dakota really? that I donate to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I love Native American culture and, like, sp- their idea of spirit and nature and she's God. she's a fetish queen. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So I fetishize. Uh, she's and an, I'm she's donating, an indigenous queen. I'm, I'm adopting a Native American boy, and hopefully he'll come soon. And <laughs> I, I uh, donate, right? So then they send me letters nonstop asking for more money. Oh, my God. But what they put on the envelope are things like, help, please help. Ian, you're the only one that can help us. Oh, my God. We need water. Please help. (laughs) We need books to graduate. The Native Americans? Help. Yeah, but it's all, like, printed out in children's handwriting. Oh, God. the saddest thing ever. Not much. I got it. I got it. Three figgies. (laughs) <laughs> Four figgies? No! What, 25 bucks a month or yes. something? Yes! How much that? do you give? <laughs> Nothing. Well, there you go. Yeah. We do hand jobs for the homeless. This is on, right? That? Okay, we're good. Yeah. We do hand jobs for the homeless. Angel hands, they call it. Angel hands. Yeah. Angel yeah. hands across America. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. hand jobs for the handicapped. Like, I've, I've been trying to get involved in that for many years. So I've been watching porns <laughs> like that. Like, well, sometimes I watch <laughs> fucked up porn, and one of them is, um, like, cap. crippled porn, where, like, someone can't physically jerk themselves off, so a, an angel hand will come in and jerk them off. I would love to do hand jobs for the homeless. Now, I'm it's sorry, hand, homeless and, and a handicapped. So if we can start that up. I mean, that'd be great. Sandra, you're mentally handicapped. Would yeah. you? <laughs> I'm so Sandra. sorry. I'm just shitting on this immigrant. Um, <laughs> she won't be here long. Yeah, maybe oh I'll donate God. to you and you'll send me a fake letter asking for help. Imagine you go, here's the card. It's Sandra. Yeah. <laughs> please, please help. And they, dude, they, they, they're like, if you send more money, we will send you a commemorative blanket. Oh. And I'm like, mm, I've seen how this played out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what are you getting us back? One donation at a time. Yeah. I, I mean, that's a smallpox joke. <laughs> yes. There you go. Okay. Smallpox. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he didn't know. I didn't know it. That's why I said it. Oh, I thought I thought it was like something rapey. The yeah, original like, monkey pot. No. That's the thing. We put smallpox on blankets and gave them blankets, and they all died out. Oh. You didn't know that? To who? To, to, um, to American the Native Indians? Americans, yeah. Yeah. How cool. <laughs> <laughs> now, was this before the Holocaust? What? Was it before? This is in, like, the fucking, like, 1600s. Yeah. Oh. This is when we came over and wiped them out. Well, I think that'd be more humane to do. I think that Hitler should have really thought about his resources and made it Hitler monkeypox. should have been quilting. Yeah. You should have been quilting. You know this? <laughs> that is true. Well, that's the show. <laughs> Can I have a cigarette? <laughs> you know what? 
<laughs> Nana, why don't you light up? <laughs> this is a thing. Uh, I just light need, for yeah. Yeah, that deserves a smoke. Um, I, I also, a quick note, I'm a very a visual person. These um, marble reds are so on brand for your whole aesthetic and vibe. Like, you can only, that's the only cigar you can smoke. Yeah. Uh, maybe something, what's trashier than this? <sighs> Not just not so trash. This is this is like American his, like American classic. Yeah. I thought you'd have American spirits. No, no. this is my. I do, but brand. I make them fight. Um, <laughs> I think. Well, I used to smoke lights, and then I needed something. What heavier. was your beer of choice I when you um, drank? Heavier. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What was your beer of choice when you drank? Uh, Let me guess. Go. But red. But heavy. Oh, a little Studweiser? Uh, you got it. Studweiser. You got I it. I was going to say Bud Heavy. Yeah, yeah. Bud I mean, Heavy. Yeah. It makes sense. The, the goes label is iconic. Bud Heavy. Like iconic yeah, it's very, it's very yeah. iconic American. Guess so what my it. vodka choice Let was. Let me guess. Spearnoff. No. Absolute. Lower. Lower. Um, Lower shelf. Hovenoff. Lower shelf. Lower shelf. Hovenoff. Georgie. Oh, oh the, plastic, the plastic jug. Crystal yeah. Palace. The crystal and the jug. A in, a, in a plastic jug, eleven ninety nine, half gallon, and then like four ninety nine for a pint of Irish Rose on the way to work. What's Irish Rose? Lord, thank you. you really did have like, a drinking problem. Yeah, it's like it chemical. Too. It's disgust. Let's uh, get some Irish Rose for Joey and see if he can take it. No, it we don't is have any here. No, Arley. Is that the? That's whiskey or vodka? Oh, it's like it's truly like chemical mixture. Georgie it's, is vo- is vodka. Georgie's vodka. Yeah, but the other one is whiskey. No, no, no. Oh, it's also vodka. Crystal Palace vodka. No, yeah, Irish my whiskey Rose. was my whiskey was um, Canadian Club. I used to drink Canadian oh. Club and chase it with apple juice and goldfish. What? There's something for you. Ugh. Yeah, we used to sit in, in Dan Williams' uh, attic. Shout out, Dan Williams. While his mother was downstairs boozing with his father. God rest his soul. Oh, thank you. And we would Happy drink right shots at Canadian Club, have about 10 of them. <laughs> Hit the road, hop behind the wheel, and have yourself a night. What Ooh. age was this? Oh, 13? God. It's probably 17, 18. I don't advocate it. Here we go. Everyone should have drinking Here we go. Here we go. I already know <laughs> what you're about to what, say. What? 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 Drinking, drinking and driving. And, drinking, drinking and driving. And driving. Drinking and driving. Yeah. Terrible. Oh, my God. We fun. <laughs> Just. Wait, that, that's how we got around to it back in the nineties. If I had, we had, I had, had nickel, to drink and drive, if I had we didn't a nickel have for every Ubers. time I bumped off the guardrails on Starrow Drive, I'd be a rich man. Woo! That's so scary to think how we, we used to drink it's in the nineties. We would drink and terrifying. drive like belligerent, terrifying. Because like, that's how you got home from the club. Like, like how was you getting home? Face. Well, there was no there was no Ubers or cabs in, back then. I, I was. Where'd you guys grow up? New Jersey. New Jersey. Yeah. Outside of Boston. So, it, it not in a city with transportation. This was before Uber. Right. Yeah, so way it's before like Uber. You're at the bar. You got to get home somehow. Yeah, so you stop and, drinking like a half go, hour before. Might as well risk it. Or you don't stop drinking. No, we don't. You don't. You, know, like you, you sober up enough to like, not like be fucked up, but like that's how we got around. We'd be driving. Or like, fuck, oh, fuck, I do wear. All. Or you wear your work clothes to the bar <laughs> the night before work, and you sleep in the car so that you wake yeah. up and just I roll into before. work. Yeah, you know. Or you double uh, bear shotgun Marlboro Reds and do a couple uh, key bumps to give you some life, and then you get home. That'll right. sober you right up. Well, then you got to drink. You know, snort some ambience <laughs> to get back <laughs> to <laughs> sleep. Get back. Your no, we had Benadryl back then. Benadryls, yes. That's how you got went down after a long night. Dude, D- <laughs> DUIs. You? You? No, thank no. God. No. I've gotten, yes. uh, how many? Just one, but it really dinged me. Yeah, how so? How so? I, well, <laughs> I was sober for four months. I was living in oh, an this attic. Is a relapse DUI? Oh, yeah. I was living in an attic apartment in Wilmington, Delaware. Truly... Wood panel walls, dark, <laughs> dank. It like this, but this has so much yeah. more life and positivity to it. Yeah. The other place was like a suicide den. And I was sober and I wanted to drink so bad. So the whole thing about recovery is like you call someone if you want to drink. So in my head, I go, I'm going to call this guy. Yeah. If he picks up, I'm not going to drink. And the guy was a drizzly delivery guy. <laughs> <laughs> it was the owner of the bar. <laughs> if he picks up, <laughs> we're open. Come on down. So I called him. Not only did he pick up, but I said, I want to drink. And he goes, do not drink. I drank in 91 after being sober, drunk driving, killed people in the car, oh, went God. to jail, do not drink, you got this. And I go, you're right, man, thanks. Hung up and go, okay, if the next guy doesn't pick up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Make, I called another guy, he didn't pick up. I go, deals. it's a sign. So I was like, look, take <laughs> it easy, just go out real, real small. So I got a six pack and a pint and I'm drinking it. And then I go, real oh my small. God, you're an alcoholic. I go, no, you're not. 
alcoholics drink alone, so go to the bar so you're not alone. Yeah. So I went to the bar, drank, got kicked out, legitimately said, is my money not green? <laughs> and then oh, got oh in the car, God. got McDonald's, oh, drove, that, passed out in a four-lane highway in front of a police station, my left foot out the window, my right foot on the brake, the car's a drive, fish fillet in the front seat, the cop's yes, yanking that's... me out of the car, and he goes, what are you doing here? And I go, what are you doing in my apartment? <laughs> and in the car? In my car. Oh, my God. They'd walk me into the police station. I'm, like, uh, in and out of a blackout. I come to puking in trash can in a jail cell thinking. The fish fillet turned. I killed. <laughs> I killed a family, and that's why I'm in jail. How old I did what this guy happened? did. Oh, oh, man. 25, maybe? And then they were like, look, just have someone pick you up. You, you got to, you know, you got court, this and that. Have someone pick you up. And I was like, take me to jail. I deserve it. I oh, relapsed. He gets emotional. Take me to jail. And they're like, buddy, we're not taking you to jail. You like, you don't want to go to jail. Yeah. So I had a friend pick me up at like 5 a.m. Nightmare. Oh. And then I had a breathalyzer in my car for like nine months. You and did? when I started comedy. I have a friend with those. That, that was like a... Um, like a plea bargain. Do you have to pay for that to get installed? Yes. Oh, dude. yeah, they, you do. They, you, dude, you pay to get it installed. You pay to get it calibrated. You pay to get oh. it taken And off. if you blow on it, you get like one mulligan from what yes. the way they do it now. So my friend would blow on it. It'd be fine. And he'd be drinking and be like, oh, fuck. So you'd have to go blow in his car for yeah, him. Yeah, do you want to blow in his car? And then send his ass on his way. And it, it That's every, a real friend. like, 20 I minutes. Do, I'll tell you, I got you. Every 20 minutes, it dings, easy, so bud. you got to do it while you drive, whatever. Yep. I got the best DUI lawyer in Delaware. I was working a real good job at the time. Ended up losing it later. Different story for a different day. And this guy sent me three pages of the evidence against me in, like, my trial. And at the end, he goes, as the saying goes, your history. I'll see you in court. And I was like, oh, my, oh God. my God. Talk about good thing to have framed on the wall if you could find that. If I can find it, that'd be amazing. That would be incredible. Did you lose Dude, your license? You just, you just had to lost the my thing. license. For how long? Had Six to get months? it back. Um, suspended license. Lost the license. Got it back. Uh, breathalyzer. I started open my... I lost my license, I think, for like six months. Then I had the breathalyzer on for like a, nine months to a year. And so I had to ride a bicycle. I was living in a halfway house. That's tough. A drunk on a bike? Oh, dude. No, I was sober. Riding a bicycle around Wilmington, Delaware. And one time I was going down a hill. The thing didn't have brakes. I'm going down the hill. There's a fist fight in the middle of the street. And as I'm going, I go, no brakes, no brakes. And they <laughs> parted the seas and let me go through. And then they resumed fighting. And I, nice used, I started open mics in the halfway house. So I would drive up, pick my buddy up in Philly. Be like, come on in the car. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go tell jokes. Like it was Jesus. something, man. My That's friend a, had one a, where story. he had to. Uh, he got a new job, and his boss is like, "Let's go out to lunch." <laughs> and he was his boss was like, "You drive." He's like, "Ah, oh, no, why don't you drive?" He's like, "Why you don't have a car?" He goes, "No, nah, I got a car." So I get in the car, and he and he's <laughs> tries to distract his boss. He goes, "What's that over there?" No. Boss looks and goes, no. <laughs> <into> the <thing. laughs> Caught him obviously, <laughs> but this is the same guy who. As he had the blower in his car, drove drunk. From, we were at my friend's house. He pulled Jesus. The, they pulled the, have this a drunk story. He pulled a knife on everyone. What? Just like, we were like, take it easy. Do you bleep here? Can you bleep his name? Whatever. We were like, take it easy. And he yeah. pulled the knife out. And he's like, I'm leaving. We we're like, we think that's a good idea. I just need someone to blow into my car. So we blew, it. <laughs> so we blew into his car. He left. Drove the car through his gar over his no. front yard. Through his garage door. Police showed up. I got white trash stories for days. Police showed up. He wouldn't come out of his house. Avoided the DUI. By not to show coming out of his house. Refused to come out of his house. They didn't have evidence that he was he knows actually right. behind the wheel. If they don't see you behind oh. the wheel, they can't enter your domicile. Wow. Very crazy. He's I didn't now. know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. He's in jail now. <laughs> is that the guy with the long, long hair? Believe it or not. The long hair. Yeah. Yeah. fifth one. Yeah. Is this the guy with the long hair from yesterday? Long hair from no 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 no. Oh, this I was on else. a sex app yesterday and um, he said which he one? Took, Sniffies. Sniffies. Yeah, I've heard of that. What's Sniffies? You know oh, Sniffies? Don't show him. No, what is it? You've opened a can of worms. This is Pandora's box for you. What is it? Sniffies dot com. New sponsor of the show is uh, an anonymous uh, sex app. 
Grinder is turned into a, a basically like a dating app, yeah, a yeah, nightmare yeah. minefield, terrible app. Sniffies is dick on demand on steroids. Yes. What? Like you wouldn't believe. Are there are there curious uh, straight guys looking to get away from their bitch wife? Bro, yes. And there's an open chat message board where you go, I'm at 36 right now. and 8th. Oh my and god! And dude, go on Sniffy's, make an account. It's a bad thing you just did. Well, in. I had an account. I'm Jeff. not on it anymore. If you want to use mine, but did you have to pay? No, free. Oh, and he'll pay if there's an upgraded version. Oh, he will oh, pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah. Like, like, we'll get the premium. It straight up like your phone will explode like a Samsung. S N I F F I E S. Yeah. I E S. Are you on Sniffy's? How are you hearing this? Huh? I said Sniffy's delete profile. That's the first thing. He there. already has one. He oh forgot he had one. Oh my god! No, no it's Sniffy. Oh, it's oh, a what? suggested search. Suggested this search. Is nutty. How, do you know about this the whole time? Yeah, I'm not gonna. T- you have. A, you don't need more apps. Is it an app? There you go. Ladder Explorer. Oh my god! Sorry. Use anonymously or log in. S go in, N-I-F-F-I-E-S N I F F I E S. The year you're born. 2023. <laughs> you're, you're born. Oh, so one, I'm a horny baby. I'm uh, a little one. Dude, literally, so so it has a map, and it has a circle with a profile picture, and it'll be torsos, dicks, butts, or regular guys. I made the mistake of making my profile, like, my Instagram, like, hey, what's oh, up? Yeah, there's a link on it. And, uh, a dude, queen. it's wild how... I had to get off those apps because people would message and be like, dude, I love your comedy. I heard Stop. you here. Is this Ian Finance? And I'd have to be like, ah, thanks for yeah. taking oh, me. Oh, wow. Get okay, away. You go, I don't, I'm just, yes. but no, I'm almost done. Oh, Say my God. Dirty. Here's the thing. I would join these apps and get to the point of almost meeting up and then delete the conversation. Oh. I would never meet up. I am because so it, excited. Show Sandra. I'm so glad we opened this world for yeah. him. I would do the same though, because you just go on the app to jerk off. You don't Love to get service. I yeah, don't wear deodorant. Yeah, and I it's have the nice idea stuff. of it, but Tell doing it is me. like, oh. Yeah. No, 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 no. no, I have done it. <laughs> <laughs> is this really it clear? says, "Love to get service. I don't wear deodorant. And I have nice feet." Oh, uh, how would you know? Is that no. you? No. <laughs> Am I on there? Nine. Um, Hold on. If you look at the map, I might show up. Okay, wait. Well, it should be right here. Describe See? the map. Joey. Look at that. Where are you here? So Let it's a grid style pinch and zoom, and there are little icons of either dicks or faces or assholes. What should I and put my as you mine pinch as? in and zoom out? Are you, you can set location. I mean, look at this guy's. That's a nice ass. Whose hole is? Is that Sandra? That is Sandra. We call her Sanjaya. Sanjaya is looking for a green card. So then <laughs> you literally do that. You message. I'm anonymous right now. I can just get my phone number. And they're not going to block the phone number. Nope. And then there's even a thing where. Uh, Oh, this is the... I just advertise. ordered 90 Viagra pills from India the other day. This is... That your heart's yeah. going to explode. This is the group chat. Let me Literally. See. Hosting a hot I muscle... Have, I don't even so have a profile. Hosting a hot group. muscle cum dump this weekend. He'll be ass up for tops. Hit me up if interested. Safe, clean, anonymous, glory hole. Bronx, no drugs, great hygiene only. The eight Bronx. miles away. Guys hosting 1.50... So you can schedule a gangbang on the message board. Oh... Yeah. Oh, how I was wondering how everyone meets all these people. And Bro, was it there. is nutty. So who writes in the thing? It's based on location. So this yeah. chat is like yeah, everyone yeah, in the yeah. area, or it's yeah. just like the whole app. No, oh, you have to pay. Area. Look. No, no, no. Oh shit! I gotta cancel my thing. Yeah. Oh fuck! Cancel. I did the free week trial. The six, six months or seven ninety nine a month. I'm gonna do that one. <laughs> he spent. He pays for like. What do you pay for? Uh, goot goot bait or something. What? Bait or chat chatter. Chatter you pay bait. for something. Chat some your gooning bait. website. If oh, we, oh, um, what is gooning? Gooning is yeah. Gooning is masturbating um, for Six hours back. and hours on edge without finishing. It's like edging. But you, you make do funny that. Funny faces while you do. No, it. I don't last that long. I don't last that long. So, but um, yeah, gooners are they're usually on meth though, because they're so they're up for days and days uh, at a time. Oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? Hosting a tea party. Yeah. Oh, oh, capital queens. tea. Have uh, you ever yeah. smoked tea? No. I've thought about it. I've been in a room when someone's doing it. And I'm like, I kind of want to hit that Dude, pipe. Do and not. Then I go now. That will lead I you can. down a path yeah. that you cannot get back from. I mean, this was, I mean, days Ian, what's your ago, email address? So over it. <laughs> oh, what? I'm over it what's now? your email address? <laughs> uh-uh. 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 It's ifinance at creepybasement.com. How great would it be if we just got a fella to come over and we're talking and Joey and him are just. Can you do? Can we do that on the pod? Try and get a guy here while we're. While right we're, now? Do it. Yeah. Do it. 
Can Imagine you Sandra's money? phone buzzes. <laughs> <laughs> Jordy's buzzes. <laughs> Jordy's, buzz, Jordy's buzzes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Who I, knew? Haven't, I haven't seen this happy in ages. I feel like it's Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dude, it is. It's crazy. It, how I, I and again, I don't. Smithies. I have this like fantasy of meeting up and then I don't. Meet, yeah, uh, you yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because by, by the time they actually said they're on their way, I'm, just, I'm so horny that I'm actually on that thing that I'm going to finish before they even get here. Well, what yeah, and wait also, 20 minutes to meet I'm up with someone? I'm so no. worried no. about disease and now with monkeypox. Yes. I'm not doing <laughs> it. I'm not. <laughs> Are you vax? Which kind? Monkeypox. No. Are, Are you? you? No. I, no. s- I stopped fooling around. That's gonna be. That's gonna be. Honest. So did I. I haven't fooled around in a long time except for this new one. Well, after who's what, this new one? Just some um, young thing I met. Oh, very cute. How'd you meet? We'll we met. Back. I met him at a bar, and I went up to him and said, basically said, "Yo, you got a fat ass." That's and what he actually said. No. And half uh, forty five minutes later, we're in a cab back to my house, and he's like all over me. She's mm. a closet queen. Oh, <laughs> straight. Yeah. Oh. And the next morning, I get a FaceTime from Joey. I he called. I go. I know what this is. The look on his face. He just does this. He picks up. He goes. Well. <laughs> he goes. Your girl still got this. it. He goes. Your girl still got it. I go. I Your go. Girl is he there? Still he goes. Got it. No. He goes. I did feel a change in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. He explained what happened. He goes. We were talking. There was nothing. That, and then I felt a slight change in the wind. <laughs> now Nana, Nana picked up on that scent. <laughs> Now she now my pheromones were now, wafted. Now she attacked that hog like a pe- like a woodpecker looking for bees, <laughs> <laughs> looking for worms. <laughs> just the look on your face. Wow. You just, I mean, it was it's what a find. I mean, this kid is. It's a, yeah. it's a diamond in the oh rough. Oh my god. Are are you guys a bunch seeing each other a lot? We see each other. Yeah, we see, we're hanging out a lot. Mm. He's very nice. Do you we're think just, it's cuddle buddies? Though. Dating? No, 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 no. I would like to, but he's he don't think he's ready for that. Uh, he's still he's in the closet. Yeah, he's big 23. time. Twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah. Wow. I that was me. He's got yeah. a cock that yeah. could cut diamond. Really? Yeah. Big diamond cock. Oh, he's 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 stunning. He's yeah. he's, he's immaculate. <laughs> he's he's like the, the sexiest thing I've ever seen in my life. You Good for on, you. Put this on your lap. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have my pills, dear. I'm I'm, I'm all set down. Good he for you. Viagra and that like changed. He says he had more confidence than you ever had. Well, oh dude, my wait, god. Are you ham- how old are you? Forty two. Really? Yeah. Nuh-uh. You look great. Thank you. I thought you were like fucking 34. <laughs> Thank you. How old no. are you? 33. Look, I thought you guys were same age. No. Look at you. Thank wow. you. Well, that's Botox. I get it. It's the Money fucking gal. everything. The gal's filler. making you look great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, are you having a hard time... Keeping it, it up? up, yeah. Well, I think it's more it's more performance anxiety. When I'm jerking off, I don't have I'm not, I'm not I don't have ED. I'm just like I just get nervous. You like, can't come. No, I can come. Oh. But I just like you know I, you know what I mean like when I'm I get performance anxiety. Yeah, yeah. So I, I end up like getting all in my head and I can't focus on what I focus on. That happens sometimes. That happens. And oh, I have a hard time coming because of my medication. What's yeah. the medication? Antidepressants. Same. I think so, Adderall makes it hard for me to come. I don't yeah, think I looked it up. Anywho, and you're saying. <laughs> Sorry. And Sorry you're yeah. saying Viagra helps with that. Yes. It's amazing. But, but what happens when you fit? Does it take a while to finish? No. It's, so you finish great. and then are you still hard? No, it goes away. And then it's like if you get, if you get aroused again, then it starts hooking up again, like making out or like rubbing each other, then it goes back For to how normal. For many hours? It's just... Um, it, you went three times the other I day. I went three times he in tells, one I know everything about, about Joe. Wow. You and how many times. hours? Because like, I can do that naturally sometimes. Like yeah. in, it, was, it, was, it was like... Two in that night, and then one in the morning. And you didn't get obtrusive boners or anything. Um, like the, right before, like before I started things, yeah, you automatically get like just randomly hard because I think it was really heavy. Like everything's like really heavy, and then she's like, "You're just like your dick just feels heavy like, when you take it." Everything feels like your balls and dick feel like like fulfilled, like maybe heavy I'll be, and yummy. I think I'm getting old. <sighs> Try it. Maybe I should do this. Why? Well, I just sure. ordered some from India, ninety pills. I would That's deal. scary. No, it was the same ones. I bought some from my um my father's friend. Um, <laughs> and it worked. But also, I went on the I went on the dark the web. Guy and I got up, it. The guy upsold them. He has them on speaker. No he, goes, he goes. He goes. I, he goes. Six, he goes. Sixty pairs for thirty nine dollars. Joey goes. Great. He goes. I have one more deal for you. <laughs> one more deal. He goes. How about can, eighty pairs for ninety nine? <laughs> yeah. He goes. Great. He goes. I have one more extra special yeah, deal. For you. Extra, very so special he's got like three hundred Viagras coming to his house from fucking. And then India. I said, I said, I, said, I, said, I, said I don't want to jinx. I don't want to jinx. I said, you know, I don't want to have like all these pills and like not then not hooking up for a year, not needing them. He was like, oh, I have confidence in you, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, of course. He goes, you sound like a very he strong very, man. Very sexy very man. Strong. He said on the phone. <laughs> Who is this guy? 
pie. We gotta get him on the pie. Yeah. Yeah. He's been he's been hitting he's here up. right now. No. Um, yeah, I'm afraid so I, I get lightheaded. No. I'm afraid I'm gonna like, fuck my heart up. Yes. Well, you can't be doing it like with other things. Like you can't do poppers with it; your heart will explode. That's a big. Th- your father. Yeah. Your father told that. me he's like, "Don't you do poppers?" His with father. Why? Your dad's gay. No, or he, he just knows. He's he just he's a, he's a he's a smart man. He has a very queen. gay son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's been doing research for a long time. Yeah. He, he's, been, he's been doing research for about forty three years. <laughs> yeah. So she knows. She knows <laughs> the ins and outs. Yeah. 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 She has. She knows the ins and outs. We call her Myrna. Um, <laughs> she knows the ins and outs. She goes, "Don't you dare do poppers. It's de- it's deadly." Really? Said, no, it is deadly because it's like, you know, because your heart, it's like all about your blood pressure. It's like, yeah. oh, like your yes. blood pressure will drop. Well, what or, about antidepressants, anxiety stuff with it? I didn't really ask anyone. I just tried yeah. to. You didn't want to get a no. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I worry about old Nana sometimes. Yeah. The one, make sure the, one, she's here for the, the one pill that took her. I want to make sure. <laughs> I want to make sure she's here for the next contract for new. After that, <laughs> she, after that, she can go. Pop them up. Get me the promise land, baby. Two more years on that contract. <laughs> That old Nana can do whatever she wants. <laughs> oh, my God. I want you to take care of yourself, Joe. Yes. I'm sure, I'm I do. Sure, I'm sure yes. people do. do. You know, it's not in the cards for me, dear. What's well, not in the cards for you? Taking, taking care of myself. No you, no, you have gotten better. I think you have. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. Are we doing an intervention? <laughs> Bring them out. Sandra, Myrna? you have a speech prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Joey. <laughs> This is how you made me feel. <laughs> In the past three days, I watched you go from zero to sixty. Um, no, I, 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 I do take a lot of things. I, it kind of worries me sometimes, like all the injections I take. I take like four injections a month. Of what? No, uh, five. You take more than four months. Maybe. Five. Oh yeah. You take I do Cosentix for what my psoriasis. Uh huh. You don't I do, that do anymore though. Yes, I do once a month. Where's your psoriasis? It's gone because I take consensus. That's great. Yeah. Um, I shoot that in my thighs, and then he shoots me in the ass once a week for um, my testosterone. I Why take are you on that? Because I have low T. I have the same testosterone of a 13-year-old girl. <laughs> Why? I don't know. He's I'm three, a faggot. He's, he's three points away from being legally a female. Yeah, I can't suppress her. Um, <laughs> now, she she will rise up. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to take it by that and like but an you estrogen have so blocker. I don't know what Isn't it is. Isn't that yeah. T? It's an energy thing know. for you, I thought. Ah. I guess so. So I take that, and then I take my Ozempix, which is my weight loss medication, which is very posh right now. Mm-hmm. All all the um, mm-hmm. fat celebrities are taking it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I take that in my stomach once a week. And then, what was the other injection I was taking? That's it. That was it for right now. So yeah. four. Wow. I have a better grasp on his medication. Yeah, because right. I, mean, I take my antidepressant every day. That's good. You need a yeah. hand. You know. What else? Uh, uh, Xanax for anxiety and sleep. Not every night, though. That's not like every night. No, I take, I, every night that's I just take, when you're high on coke. Every night I take, yeah. What yeah. anxiety or what <laughs> antidepressants? Antidepressant I take is um, Cymbalta. Oh. Yeah. Cymbalta like can that. help. That's the one with the little, like, bu- bubbles that... Can I just say, every one of your medications is advertised on television. <laughs> I'm just imagining you <laughs> yep. watching TV and being like, you know what? This down. I need Cosentix. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is every <laughs> single one. He sent one for heavy flow in the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I think I have this. <laughs> so my doctor, Are I'm you a gay self-diagnosing? And when it goes, ask your doctor he about Cosentix, you're Zempix like, doctor. doctor was on. He goes, my regular he goes doctor. I can't do one milligram. He goes, we can do two. He goes, now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> yeah. I said, let's really <laughs> fucking up and up and dance and knock this right out of the park. He's like, you want to go up to two? I said, fuck it. You were a petri dish of fun. Yeah. And then what else do I take? Oh, I, I to go to sleep, I take... Um, Every night? Yeah, what do I take? Trazodone. Trazodone. Trazodone? We used to call night. that the Trazodone Shuffle. What's that Because it knocks you out in rehab, and it's just a bunch of people yeah, walking around. Yeah, that's rehab for heroin addicts. You take that yeah. every night? I basically do now, because I want to save the Xanax for, for I, holidays. Those are my Christmas pills. Now, I know this is a comedy podcast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Charlie, um, we got to get, get you a little more on natural, babe. Yeah. We yeah, got to take up a couple other things. Do you exercise? Because that could be a natural way to yeah, exhaust exactly. yourself. You know that Equinox gave me a free membership and I still don't, and I still don't go? That really? That's infuriating to me. Dude, you go on Sniffies at Equinox, you are going to fucking, go you're going to be there for hours. Go the steam room cruise. Yeah. Yes. Go work out. That's what I want to do. Hop incline, f- 5% incline, 6 miles an hour. You do that for an hour, you sweat your ass off, you go suck someone off in the steam room. Okay. Next thing you know, you're off the Trazodone, you're feeling yep. better. Yep. You know, the diet's getting a little better. We won't yeah. be doing late night snacks. I think we're on the up and up. Yes. We're up to something here. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I'm gonna come, you're come not going to need tea because you're going to feel like a fucking man. Yeah. yeah. It's natural tea. Then, yeah. I'm gonna, then I'm going to catch, so confident I'm going to catch full blown AIDS by, by Christmas. <laughs> I mean, you well, love meds. Yeah. <laughs> It'll up your med yeah. count. There I you know. go. Exactly. 
A, AIDS is like a cold nowadays anyway. I know. Yeah. Which is funny because a cold used to kill people with AIDS. But um, <laughs> it did. <laughs> it really did. Taken out by the You were talking about AIDS earlier. Yeah, you were bug chasing, I believe, is what the oh, You Mark, were. Will you pick one of the gentlemen here? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, we're going to play a game. We played this this morning. That's me, my, my dick. We have a segment we do. We just send stuff. We talk it's about stuff that we set in the, the group, group chat. chat. Uh-huh. And we do that on the show. And Joey has really dialed things up once he saw this was going to be on the show. So he sent this this morning. It's okay. about. You got to pick one third. You got to pick, uh, pick a gentleman here. There's, there's 13 naked men, all very sexy. And yes. one of them. One of them has full blown AIDS. No. So, so you can. It's true. Is he positive, undetectable? No, it's full blown. No, yeah, really. So you have to pick what, first, of all, pick your boyfriend, and then wait. Is this from the group chat, or no, is this, this on is just Sniffy? The, this is from our group chat that oh. we did this morning. This so is our here, work group. One chat. through thirteen. So pick your boy. We all know the, the three of us know number the number who has the full blown. One of them legit first. has full blown AIDS. Yes. I mean, I'm thinking. They're all hot though. I'm guess thinking. Who, guess, I who go, I picked, guess who I picked first of all? Oh. Pat picked seven of them. <laughs> I. I old. picked. You picked eight. No. Wow. I think I would pick four. Okay. Good choice. Nine. Uh-huh. And should... 11 seems like we could like bro out and then really get into it. Okay. Bro out. Well, four, nine, and 11. Would you like the reveal? Yeah. You, um, you dodged a bullet. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's actually number 10 who has full Number 10, please walk in the room. Oh, poor fa- 10 looks like Brent Corrigan. Yeah. Oh, you TBT. remember him? Yeah. yeah. My number is mine's number two. There was a movie on him, right? Yeah. Didn't he? Was he involved in a murder? I think he killed the guy. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, but guys, if you want to just do what we're looking at, go on my Twitter. Um, uh, when the episode posts, when this is up online, it's gonna be on my Twitter. Joey Camasta. Who'd you pick? When's this come out? I picked. Uh, in two I weeks. picked ten, six, seven, thirteen, yeah. and two. I think. No, two. You can't have. He's mine. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Wow. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Ten, ten. I'm just a whole sir. You picked guy with AIDS. Yeah. Wow. Would you guy with AIDS? Yes or no? Would I if he didn't have AIDS? Yeah. No, if he had it. If he had it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You? Mm, probably. Do you want to pick yeah. one? If I was drunk enough and it was late. Really? Are you we'll homosexual? Do, I'll roll the dice. Okay. Positive, mean. undetectable. You can't get it. That's the thing. It was. It still scare, scares. Scares me. Very. Very much very. scares me a little yeah. bit. I did clean up before I came. <laughs> Joey douched. You did ju- douche. Well, I didn't know what was going to happen here because there's a lot of sexual tension between us. You there showed me your cock, and then we, we joke around here about sucking dick. And I told Pat that I said, "Say that you have to get out of here early." And I said, "I'm going to stick <laughs> around for a little bit and talk to Ian and see if I can make him." Wow. Um, make him. Make me what? Make him, that means like, you know, like get with him. Oh, um, that's what I, the 70s. Say, I didn't know we were living in the 50s. Yeah. The 50s, yeah. <laughs> I'll make him, she. Because also, <laughs> making is shitting. Is when it? people go, I have to make. Make in the, sh- in the litter box. Oh, my friend used that for their dog. Good make. Yeah. Good I like mystery. using terms like that, like BM. BM. Or oh, I have to go make. I love BM. I say Bowel BM. Movement. Yeah, I, I have, have to, to go make. I, I have to go make. <laughs> but everyone knows notoriously, Ian Finance only fucks black guys, so. Not true. I've been with white guys, mostly black. But you prefer black. But I will say, I, I nothing against you. I just I can't do hair. He'll shave it now. He'll he'll sugar his body. I, I <laughs> he'll sugar the whole thing down. <laughs> An Italian man with a beard was giving me a beager, and he had just done poppers, and I couldn't get it up. And I said, "This just isn't working." He goes, "Okay, I leave now." Oh. <laughs> he just left. <laughs> Oh my lord! Did he make you spaghetti after he left? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Play with my meatballs. He made him spaghetti yeah. and did a brick wall in the backyard. Yeah, what's a brick wall? Brick layers. It's a derogatory term for Italians. Oh, really? Yeah, they're I'm very so much today. Brick layer. They are. Yeah, you, yeah, you know. Wow. No. Is that Course. a separate entrance? Yes. To the outside. That goes right to the outside. Yeah. Why don't you bring us through the basement? Because I feel like us upstairs is nicer. It is. To, uh, like a. a that's kind of dingy. Yeah, it's that's like hot. a storage area. That's your that's your um, what's what website called? Friskles, Sniffies, Sniffies. That's your Sniffies store. <laughs> that's, that's, sniffies your, that's your Sniffies entrance. Friskles. You need an arrow. That sniffies like a, enter that here. That sounds like a, a general store you get molested at. <laughs> Friskles. <laughs> Come on down to Friskles. Oh my God. Do you hang here? Like, do you just hang out here? You only yeah, here. we just had a movie night last night. Damn. We watched Jackie Brown. 
Pulp Fiction two weeks ago. I'd never seen Pulp Fiction. So this is more the living room. This is more like the, you hang out down here and like watch watch uh, TV and hang out in his room. Yeah, I mean, I just got a PS Five. I'll work down. I do like oh v- God, VOs I down it. here. I do auditions down over there, like self tapes and stuff. This is but great. I, upstairs is like where the cat is, and that's kind of like my Samson. area. Yeah, Samson. Are you doing films? Now? Are you doing movies now? You just introduced to a movie or something? Yeah, I I did a short film, and I'm acting more. I love acting. I want to start acting. Dude, you'd be great. Thank you. Remake of Fire Island. A real version of Fire yeah. Island? A yeah, real yeah. version of Fire yeah. Island. Sponsored it's where nothing sniffies. happens and everyone's yeah. just high. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Women's wait, clothing. Did yeah. you guys see the trailer for Bros? Oh, uh, t- sore subject. Really? We're going to the premiere. No way. We're yeah, going we're to going the premiere. premiere. Dude, I auditioned for a role in that. I ch- I heard he was doing it. I I never like I have no any auditions. I really wanted to have a part in that movie though. What is it? Yeah, it's about just like it's Billy Eichner. It's Billy Eichner. Yeah, he's basically that. plays like he's like starting a, a gay and lesbian museum. Um, the chicks in the office just had him on yes yesterday, and they sh- they had the screener, so they watched the movie already. So he told me a little bit about it. But it comes out you know the end of the month here, and right. he's basically he like met, he gets he falls in love with some other it's like rom-com. unattainable yeah rom com a, ro- a gay, a gay rom com yeah. Uh, but it's supposed to be really good. Now, we asked Billy Eichner to come on to our podcast, and he said yes to five other podcasts at Barstool, but he said no to ours. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Typical faggotry. Why? Yeah. Jealous, well, jealous, jealous. That's in his wheelhouse. He, yeah. handle, he can't ha- handle the smoke. Yeah. Fuck Dan em. was like, Big Cat was like, well, you know, if he's trying to get new audience, I was like, I don't. I don't know if it's new audience. I think he probably saw saw a little reel of the two of us. Oh, yes. Two yeah. We're just two, faggots. We're just two a little too much. I think. Yeah. He's a very PR. I mean, he's a he's affiliated with NBC. He's got all these. Uh, yeah. I get it. You know, but he's got I get a, it too. He's got it. Don't forget your roots. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Don't don't forget your roots. Yeah. So, so I'm gonna, gonna flower bomb him on the red yeah, carpet. I was so. just gonna say that. Yeah. So what we're gonna do on the red carpet is I'm gonna come with a bucket of water and Joy's gonna shit him in the face. Yeah, we're gonna flower. tar and feather her on that the red is, carpet. I was just gonna <laughs> now, say that. Now they will be ostrich feathers, so she goes up with the theme of the night. But <laughs> oh, and then ostrich. I'll come in from left field and me to him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, he's flower God. bombed. It'll be great. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna talk to our girl at work and see if we can get a third ticket for you. Oh That'd my God. Let's go. That'd be amazing. In a heartbeat. Wreak havoc. Yes. That'd be amazing. I just want to suck someone off at the after party. Absolutely. I'll get Jamie. Andy in the bathroom. Yeah. Where is it and when is it? Do we know? It's no, I can't tell the people where no, the no, premiere no. is. When does this come out? Uh in two weeks. Got it. And are you gonna go into the footage after we leave? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll be in jail by then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna make eye contact with Jordy when it happens. <laughs> Doesn't Jordy have a January 6th look to him? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Nah, no, nah, the beard is a little too friendly. Ah, yeah. If it was longer. Yeah, yes. he looks more like Jebediah from the Pennsylvania Dutch region. He looks yes. kind of more Amish than he does. He is from that area. Are you? A friendly woodworker with a checkered past. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and he's missing a finger from a. Uh, Are you? Erroneous um, butt you know busting I mean, accident. accident. <laughs> from from pl- something with a field plowing accident. <laughs> A cattle accident. <laughs> a butter churning mishap. <laughs> uh, yeah, this will come out in two weeks. I would love and be honored to go to the premiere with you guys. Let me see what I can do. That would be amazing. Yeah, That'd yeah, be yeah. so fun. I know. I agree. And uh, I would love to do this again. You guys are the best. Yes. Thank and you. what would you like to plug one more time for everyone out there? We're going to be at Laugh Boston on October 4th. It's Tuesday, October 4th. It is Yom Kippur, but we will be celebrating on stage. Um, you can go to <laughs> laughboston.com for tickets. You can check out our podcast out and about on Barstool um, and anywhere fine podcasts are found. You can follow me at Joey Camasta on all social platforms and Pat at... Um, Cumdump.com. <laughs> I knew it. I go, wow, he's doing really good. I wonder what's what the punchline's gonna be here. There it is. Come dump. Trish, where can we find you? Uh, the find corner me of- at Barstool Pat on all platforms. Pat.mcauliffe on TikTok. I'm TikToking now. Good and for Pat you. And Pat McAuliffe on OnlyFans. That's the big one. But um, our bio has the tickets to our live show. Yes. That's what we're going to do. We did Goonfest in New York. It was a fucking blast. Yes. This one is going to be even better. Yeah. And I will post that too. So if you should be following these guys, they're fucking hilarious. Your little bathroom dancing thing was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. That was awesome. Uh, and I'll put that on my thing too. And iAnimal69, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, patreon.com slash b and and pod. Appreciate the support. You guys are fucking killing it. We're having a blast hanging out in the Delaware Den. And before I go, I'd like to give you a little gift. 
Oh. Oh. There you go. Oh, yep. My. Uh, I'm going on his friskles right now. <laughs> Look at his hair. Look at his hair. He's got his hair is on his thing. He's, he's giggling. You just cheated. You just cheated. Whoa, stop you the boy cheated on the boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's it. We're out of here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.